It's not like I cared about the 50 grand anyway. I was making that much almost every day through one rat hole or another. Now a rat hole is a friend, like Brad here, who held stock in his name from me. You're supposed to be, huh? Technical Jew. I'd drive the price up, then he'd sell and kick most of the profits back to, you guessed it, me. All cash, none of it's on the books. A big no-no, of course, in the eyes of the law. Enter our new securities attorney, Manny Riskin. Yo, this is the SEC. 700 bucks an hour to be the voice of doom. Listen to me. You piss up the SEC's leg, you end up with your tits in a ringer. Will you not worry about it? I have the SEC under control. Oh. What the fuck are these imbeciles doing? Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! We got the SEC in here! 15,000! The Securities and Exchange Commission sent two lawyers down to review our files. So I set them up in our conference room, and I had it bugged, and the air conditioning turned up so high that it felt like Antarctica in there. Is it always this cold in here? I don't know. Then, while well, they were looking for a smoking gun in that room, I was gonna fire off a bazooka in here, offering up our latest IPO. An IPO is an initial public offering. It's the first time a stock is offered for sale to the general population. Now, as the firm taking the company public, we set the initial sales price, then sold those shares right back to our friends. The I... Look, <laughs> I know you're not following what I'm saying anyway, right? That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely fucking not. But we were making more money than we knew what to do with.